Hello, Jim Howard here in Fort Worth, Texas. Today's date, it is uh, June 10th, uh, 2017, and I just received this, which is on your screen there. Uh, let me enlarge the screen here. There we go. Oh my God. That does not look good. Let me get back to the smaller screen here for you pretty quick. I hope you're not projecting this on a big screen TV or big screen monitor. Here this is. I like that it has a nice short cable here. HDMI to HDMI. So what I'm going to do is I move things again on my uh, desk here just earlier today because I knew this was coming today. I now have my old PC over here that has a version of Linux on it. And then of course over here is my Windows 10 computer. And I have right now one monitor there. This is an Uber TV back here. And it's not going to be involved in this, I don't believe. Uh, right now it's going to be these two. So I'm going to plug this into this uh, monitor in front of me. Then I'm going to plug in the Windows 10 computer. And this has a version of Ubuntu on it, I believe, in there. Then I'll have another input. I might use my uh, Chromebook not sure or maybe just those two so I'm going to hook this up now and uh, let me go to we don't want to go to full to a big picture of me um, has a switch that shows you the inside circuitry It shows here where somebody is you know, on a laptop, a PS4, and a TV box. Uh, here it is. Here it is. Somebody has three monitors. So, uh, don't touch the mouse. I will be right back as soon as I find where. There it is.
Okay, I am back. I moved my uh, Logitech camera a little bit. I moved it off of um, my monitor here over and it's actually on top of my computer. Not a good place for it, but uh, moved it over there so you get a little different view. Okay, this worked excellent. Uh, I have a couple other devices that I've done stuff like this in the past. The one that I remember I can't remember which it when I would have two computers hooked up or three when I had two computers hooked up to it uh, so I would say I'm running Windows 10 and I have it on and I turn the other computer on say the Linux computer when it came up the uh, operating system wouldn't find a monitor. It would go ahead and use a monitor that it was used to or a standard one and put that in or whatever. But it wouldn't, you know, it wouldn't find it. I would have to hit the thing and go over to it. Then it would, it would go, you know, oh, okay, this is such and such a monitor. That, you know, I picked the right one. Uh, this one, I had this computer, the Linux computer off, had this one here, plugged these in, plugged the, the Windows 10 computer in here. And of course, it uh, found it right away. Then, when I turned this computer on, it right away knew that there was a another device hooked up, and it popped over there. It booted up, showed on the screen, you know, monitor here booting up and everything. Then I could just hit the switch, and I came back over here. So this is better uh, in that regard. The other was a little bit of a problem. Uh, so this one, inexpensive, less expensive than the other device, which I can't remember which one it was, and it seems to be working great. So I uh, I do recommend this if this is one of the, it comes with a little sheet of paper that gives you some more information, and you can uh, look here on uh, Amazon and you know, get the information about it here. Uh, three HDMI inputs to one HDMI input, signal input, voltage input, uh, maximum single link video range 1920 by 1200, 1080p. Hmm. Uh, output supports 3D devices. Uh, support video 24 bit 36 bits uh, video format support DTVI HTVI 480i uh, 576i 480p 720p 1080i and 1080p uh, supports compressed audio such as DTS Dolby and so on so I believe since this is an HDMI, I haven't tried that and I'm not going to try it right now. I may in a few minutes later, but uh, I believe I would this because this monitor has speakers and uh, well, it, it, it takes, uh, you know, uh, HDMI audio and works with it. So I need to go in and pick my settings and so I think that would work. The only problem is this monitor, the uh, speakers, uh, don't really pump out enough audio, uh, high enough volume for me. But anyway, I uh, I do recommend this to you. If you're watching this on YouTube, the link to this will be below. Uh, 
please use that link because if you purchase a thousand of these or something, I would get a little. I'd get enough commission to. I get a commission if you buy anything with one of my Amazon links below, but almost nothing. You'd have to probably if you're a manufacturer or somebody or store or something, and you buy a thousand of these, I might make enough for a quarter pounder. Anyway, thank you very much.